Hi, this is a six-part series learning how to visualize data in Postman. We just learned how to style our view using HTML and CSS. Now let's add some more JavaScript to add interactions or bring in external libraries using script tags inside our template. Let's head over to Postman and move on to step six in our Get Started folder. Our visualization is lovely, but instead of this random list of dates, if we revisit the data returned from our API, it would definitely be more interesting to visualize this data over time. To do this, we'll use the Chart.js library to make a line graph. Let's take a look at their Getting Started documentation. I'll drop a link right here. First, we need a canvas in our page. Copy this to your clipboard. Replace the current code in your template string with this HTML element. Now that we have a canvas we can use, we need to include Chart.js in our page. Copy this script to your clipboard and add it to the beginning part of your template string. Now we can create a chart. Copy this code to your clipboard. Go ahead and add this after your canvas element within your template string. And then surround this code block with an opening and closing script tag. If you hit send now, you can see a line graph under the visualize tab. The data in this chart is hard coded in the boilerplate snippet. In step four, we learned how to access the data from pm.visualizer.set to access the data within our HTML template using the handlebars double curly braces. That works for injecting data into our HTML elements, but if we want to access this data from within a JavaScript script, we can use pm.getData. The pm.getData method takes a callback function. This callback accepts two parameters, error and data. The second parameter is the data that's passed through pm.visualizer.set. So wrap pm.getData around the boilerplate snippet, still inside the script tags, and then turn that wrapped code into a callback function with error and data. Now we have access to the data passed through from pm.visualizer.set. In the boilerplate, we need to update labels for our data, as well as label and data for our data sets. Once again, we'll parse the information passed through from pm.visualizer.set. So Chart.js expects labels for our data and the data for our data set to be formatted as arrays. So the label would be a date and the data for the data set would be the corresponding value for that date. Update the array for the labels of our data. Here, we're gonna turn an object into an array using object.entries and then mapping each item in that array to return another array of the first property, which is the date. Let's update our chart label update data for our data sets in the same way that we updated our data labels. Hit send and check it out. We see the time series data for COVID confirmed cases under the visualize tab of the response. If you're following along, let me know in the comments below if this worked for you or what part you got stuck on. In this video, we use an external library by bringing in Chart.js via Content Delivery Network or CDN in the script tags of our template string. We previously learned how to pass data from pm.visualizer.set to use handlebars in our HTML. This time we pass data to our JavaScript script in the template string using pm.getData. If you're not that familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, make sure you really understand what's going on in these six videos. And if you made it to the end, then check out the tutorial collection for more ideas on how you can make your data visualizations more meaningful and more amazing. See you next time. Bye.